All right, uh, guys, we're doing a quick update for a bedding job that we're doing for a buddy. Uh, just a quick update, okay? We've done the bedding, and uh, I'm going to uh, zero this out. Hope you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. We're going to double check the rear action screw here. Let's see. Let's just run it up and check it. We'll torque it up. There's about 30 inch pounds there. Try to make this fast. And zero it out. Yes. Get on the front. We're going to run that front one up to there's 30 again. Good 30 out of it. Yeah, there's 30. All right. So we got. 30 on the front and the back. It's uh, yeah, we got a good setup on our indicator. There's 30 on the front, 30 on the back. Let's get in here and uh, let's see what we got there. I'm telling you right now. Can you see that? Can you see my, yeah, you can see my hand. All right. That's with my jiggling it. Look, I tap on that stock. See how indicator moves? That's how sensitive it is. I break it loose or zero. I tighten it or zero. Break it loose or zero. Okay. Oh, let's see what we got. One more thing we're gonna, we're, we'll, Put it back in here. We got it in. And let's see what the torque. Let's retorque it. There's back to 30 inch pounds. Got the 30 on the video. I think so. We're still at zero. Uh, I'm liking it. I don't know about you. This, uh, Like I said, that's, look at there, that's, that's zero. I can tighten it, loosen it. Yep, wrench came out. Get back in there. Tighten it, loosen it. Tighten it, loosen it. Tighten it, loosen it. Take the spoon, get the pudding. Get big by pudding. We like that pudding. We're at zero. Anyway, uh, I believe that's uh, proving what we got. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do right quick. Uh, if I can do this without upsetting the camera too awful bad, and this, maybe this will add and make it uh, a little more exciting for you guys that's watched these before. I'm going to back this up. Take it back a little bit. Take it down. Try to get it to where I'm going to hold this rifle and try to show you something here. If we can get it in focus. Uh, I was watching a, a reading post online. We'll take this indicator off. I was watching a post, uh, reading a post on video. And that post, see if we're still in focus. Looks pretty good. They was talking about, uh, you know, Guys, that we've been doing this for a while, we take things for granted. Gentleman was asking simply, uh, get my arm out of the way. These two action screws here and here, how much uh, torque should he be putting on them? And he got his answer, 20 to 30 inch pounds. 100% agree, uh, wherever you like to set it. 20 to 30 inch pounds is... Uh, is, is we tested these on 30s. I tested them 20, 25. Anyway, uh, if you don't have the indicator and you don't have the apparatus set up to test and do it like like I just done it, what they're telling you uh, uh, when they tell you it shouldn't be another one, one of the words a guy used uh, was was mushiness. It shouldn't be mushy. When you tighten this screw in right here, and it, it applies to both of them. When you tighten your screws in, okay, 
it should sit, pop hard, right there. Uh, you could kind of liken it to if you were screwing a, a wood screw into that wood. You know how you've done it. Everybody's done it. You're screwing it in there, and it starts getting tight, and you're, you're about to get 100% of where you want it. But it's not a steel screw with a bedded pillar that's a hard contact. So when you keep cranking and pushing, you can... You can mush it in there you, in the same way when you take it out. Oh, well, when you break it loose, it breaks loose, but then you still got to work it out a little bit. Well, that's kind of exaggerated on these action screws, but when you break this thing, when you pop it into place, it should be a, a hard snap, set and good and set, or solid. And uh, I'm going to add to it. When you break it loose, and you're testing, hold that thing. Guys test it, you know, I've heard people holding that barrel, feeling it, and tightening the screw down. If you feel movement, yeah, if you feel movement, you definitely got a problem. But I personally have a hard time feeling thousands of an inch. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, discussion on what's allowable and what's not. I personally just believe if I can get zero, <laughs> I don't have to worry about it, do I? Take your wrench, take it with the short end out, that way you don't have a lot of leverage. Now watch, what I'm saying is I'm going to add to it, when you break the screw loose, the same way as when you tighten it, it should be a, a solid snap and a hard set into place. When you break it loose, it should do the, the exact reverse, exactly the same. When I snap this loose. It should pop and come loose instantly, and then it should spin out freely. No cranking it like you would that wood screw to, to get it on out. If you're doing that, you're releasing stress that's, that you're, you know, that's in the bedding. Now, see how that popped? And as soon as it popped, look, see how loose that thing is? Again. We're going to screw it into place there. I'm taking the short end. And I'm just snapping it into place. It's a solid, hard snap. And then when I go to break it, there she goes. It's loose. Loose as a goose from that moment. It's only that point of contact that you're breaking. And it should be a hard contact both when it closes into place as well as when it snaps loose. You see how it, how it does? Uh, nice and a solid thud. If there's any mushiness, like you can get on it, crank, well, you know, that's solid. Uh, you can feel it better with this short end, and you, I think you can see it on the camera better. Oh, see how that's, poof, she's loose. If you uh, if it don't set into place and break loose like that, uh, you know, hey, I don't know, maybe some of them flippers is not that ammo you thought it was to start with, but uh, uh, you know that's 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 not a uh, scientific. <laughs> absolute written in stone but I don't think anybody's going to argue with you uh, you get used to that feel and you test them like that uh, if you don't have that feeling I can almost guarantee if you set an indicator on it <laughs> you also don't have zero moving on that indicator you have a lot more than that so anyway I hope that was informative for you hope you found it interesting and uh, found it to be some good so uh appreciate it and we'll see you guys later